serious? What's to do here? No, it's here, it's like, what am I supposed to do here? That's just something I'm missing. this Me. Saved here.
It's gonna be fast, don't you think? something different with this test if you've worked in device development then you'll know what this is already but if you don't that will actually give us better data so just have fun with it it shouldn't be able to hurt you a cube no a cube didn't read the introductory guidebook about pneumatic diversity vents. All pneumatic diversity vents in test chambers have been calibrated to a maximum capacity of 60 kilograms to prevent most humans from being sucked up and disposed of. If your body mass happens to be under 60 kilograms, extra caution is advised. up, the following test chambers may not include pre-recorded messages like these in order to measure how test subjects behave in environments lacking human contact. Good luck! Okay. I guess it is scrap from some portal too. Hmm. made this an amazing job. It's wonderful. We done? Oh, hey, what's happening here? Where am I? What the, who are you? What's going on here? Where are my hands? 
No, this can't be possible, can it? Okay, let's do this properly. Sorry for my freak out. I will explain what just happened, but let's get out of here first. Can you pick me up? Thanks. There's a hub not far from here. Let's go there. By the way, where is everybody? Is the office closed? Yeah. And what is a test subject doing here anyway? That's really dark. Light switch anywhere? I mean, we don't have to go through there, do we? I completely understand if you would rather find another way if you're scared of the dark. No shame in that. It's just the absence of light, right? What reason would anyone have to develop a phobia for it? Can't find another way through, hmm? I may have an idea. Let me try something. Oh, it worked! That's crazy! I still don't like this plan, but here we go. Wandering through the office after working hours with a stranger and nothing more than a flashlight. Listen, I'm sorry for... Oh, I'm so sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to overexpose your eyes. Okay. Wait, what happened here? Look out the window, please. All right. Trying not to panic again. Can you tell me what year it is? Oh, you don't know either? Guess we're in the same boat then. Let's try to get this door open. Stick me on that plug in the wall. I'll see what I can do. Got it. None of this used to be here. How long was I out for? It must have been decades. I don't really know where we're going now. Oh, let's try and find a management rail. Then I can access the whole network. So you remember turning into a robot? Okay. By the way, where's my portal gun? Elevator, sure. What's the worst that could await us up there? Actually, yeah. you don't want to know. Okay. Good to know. Can I ask you something real quick? What portal device model is that? Doesn't look like any of the ones I've seen before. Looks cool though. Design team did a good job. Engineering too. Very slim fit. Oh, a rail! We found one! Whoa, feels weird. This will take some getting used to. Thank you, test subject. I hope I don't intrude if I join you for a bit while I try to get a sense of what happened to me, the facility, and you. Again, I'm sorry for my erratic introduction. I'm Amelia Conley, and I work in Aperture's research group for artificial intelligence. Well, I did. Until now. See, my main contributions were in the field of brain scanning, and it seems like one of my old scans just got loaded into this robot. I knew the risks of this happening. We enforced strict backup removal routines so we wouldn't accidentally clone our minds. But here we are.
struggling to hold back the panic now? I read the records of what happened while I was out. Everyone is dead. All of them. And it's my fault. See, I worked on her. I created the genetic life form and disc operating system just like Cave wanted. Well, my human self did. I have no memory of this, but the records are clear. Carolyn never consented to be scanned in, but somehow they must have found a way around that. I need to process this for a bit and figure out what to do now. See you in a bit. Yeah, and I had to figure out where to go. It's not been long. Just wanted to be polite. Just remembered that I never asked what you're doing here. Let's just try to get out of here. This isn't a good place to be around anymore. this up for you.
These earthquakes aren't normal here. What is that? Be there in a moment. Haven't been here in a while. Wow, this hasn't changed a bit. Ah, uh, yes. The boring presentation room. For some reason, the presentation rooms were assigned special roles. This is the boring one, where only really uninter- Mannequins? I worked next to the presentation room of danger. Well, that's its nickname. What they pitch there is shocking at first, but it didn't take me long to get numb to it. No hands, only handles. Light, finally! Can't stop thinking about the android body. I wonder if they finished developing those. Did you see that? Better move upwards before that happens again. I believe this might be an old, dangerous teleportation experiment. Here we've got ourselves the... <clears throat> Aperture Science Non-Local Matter Displacement Device. <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Our team affectionately dubbed it the Spire. Adds a bit of pizzazz to it, right? It was developed as a successor to the Borealis experiments from the 70s, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Well, I've still not seen it with my eyes. Unless digital cameras count.
We better get going. Let's find a way up to the surface. That's where we'll find the control room. This will sound stupid, so just bear with me. Garbage disposal tubes generate much more force than the ones in test chambers. Should be able to carry you. If you jump into this tube, I will route you through to the upper layers of the facility. Maybe hold your breath. I guess I'm trash. This is as far as I can get you. Damn it, that's barely halfway. Well, looks like we have to go the long way. Sorry. I'm going to research this spire thing while you solve the chambers.